fake it till you make it is a line that I believe quite a number of people are familiar with, young people mm. now, that is to say. And um, I think that that has been taken overboard by quite a number of young people. The idea of faking it, living the fake life until you make it. Mm -hmm. And the painful thing is that some persons will probably fake it so much that they eventually will not even make it and then it becomes an entire loss for them. Well, that's what we're going to be talking about on this episode of the Made in Abuja podcast. But we are going to be talking about fake life in Abuja. Does it exist? And if it does, to what extent? And if we have established to what extent, is it good? Well, let's find out on this episode. Welcome. My name is Okbe Andy. And, of course, we have the delectable... All right, so let's go. It doesn't just work like that. Of course, of course, you don't want to, you don't want to. Just to maintain beauty, just be as real as you can and build your art. And trust me, with time. Of course, of course, you don't want to be a You're not paying 15,000 to rent a private jet. Bro, you can in Abuja is a very, very good yeah, place good for you to come. Um, Anna, you go out a lot, right? Oh, yeah, to a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, a wild bird. No! Oh, what? I, I'm just there. outgoing, I'm open minded. I think that's it. Yeah, you're, like, you're a wild bird. <laughs> So what, what that means is that you've interacted with a number of persons in yeah. Abuja yeah. and you've seen quite a lot to be able to establish if there is fake life or there is no fake life, right? So yeah. you tell us, me, tell me and the <laughs> audience, because you're the one that's going to take all the fire and <laughs> so the very fire is coming. Wait. So tell us, is, does fake life actually exist in Abuja? I'm being very honest. If, if I'm being honest, yeah. I think fake life exists everywhere. Okay. A lot of times people feel like it's easier to lie to themselves, you know, and lie to others than actually live their truth because of, you know, sometimes fear of the unknown, other times fear of association. Yeah. They're, they're, I feel like here in Abuja, why it's so much is because people want to be in a certain circle mm -hmm. and to be in such circle, there's a level to which you would attain maybe career wise or just physical um yeah. you know looks yeah. all of that wise and people feel the need to like try to match up or meet yeah, up meet to up. that standard, standard yeah. so they can be in that circle so i think it's everywhere the only reason is so much here in abuja is just because of the fact that there's a certain level that um you know, when we're talking about classism, we talked about the classes at which, you know, people can be categorized here yeah. in Abuja. I think that class, that high class thing yeah. is why a lot of people tend to fake it. But do you think it's even necessary? Because I, I'm looking at it, I, I've always had this opinion because when I was in the university, that was when that phrase was very, very popular. Yeah. And um, in fact, even in churches, yeah. right? You end with all the motivational speaker stuff now, yeah. fake it till, till you, you make, make it. it and all of that. It rhymes I, very well. But do you think it's right? Because I, for one, I actually don't believe that it's right. I don't like the idea at all. I think it's Because been there's misused. a difference. Okay, because I, I think that there's a difference between faking it and learning it. I, I feel like the word right? fake it till you make it is being misused. Okay. Because naturally, if I'm supposed to talk about faking it till you make it, till you make it I'll talk about branding. I'll talk yeah. about um, how you want people to see you. Yeah. I'll talk about dress codes. You mm. know, how you want to be perceived. Mm. That's how I understand it to be. But right now, people are taking it beyond that. Mm -hmm. People go as far as trying to propose to a girl with a car and then later get it out of the girl. Maybe because to, of the whole cloud yeah, thing. Yeah, just people because just of that. Make, you, everybody make other people see that they are doing well. Exactly. And all of that, yeah? So I think right now it's overboard because we're taking it way too far. If mm -hmm. we're just going to go by the motivational speaker or the preachers that talk about faking it, you make it. Yeah. It's not the way we're doing it now. Mm -hmm. Now it's too much. Mm -hmm. It's way too much. It's just across board. Because I can't really understand how... You, you you go to certain places, mm -hmm. you know, just places that you know you can't afford, right? And you just go there to just 
take pictures and and run out of there before they come for you you know you you i mean i, I don't, I don't, I don't people see that get to rent the private jet for 15 minutes just to take pictures wait if you rent if you have the money to, to rent. rent a private jet it's not as pictures. much now you're not renting from the owner you're renting from one guy that is in the flight but an attendant whichever way no matter what it is you're not renting you're not going to pay them you're not paying fifteen thousand to rent a private jet bro you can you can pay you 15 me? you can pay 20. are you kidding you're me? not paying as much as you know a flight fare you're paying 20k <laughs> you're paying 25k are you kidding me? but yes yeah, so it's not as much. You're not paying for a whole flight. So just to make yourself your look content, like they'll living. tell you, okay, you have like ten minutes or you mm. have like five minutes. Yeah. And then immediately your time is gone. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Pay, yeah. pay, pay, and go. Right. And that is it. So I, but mm -hmm. then again, I feel like the society we're in right now makes um living a bit more difficult. They want everybody to be living the life. Social media but who is actually wants everybody to be living Social the life. Social media. And that's my problem. It's peer Nobody's pressure. pressure right? No, see, see. That's that's the problem I always have with the people excusing whatever they do, why society is pushing me, uh, peer pressure and all of that. Nobody's putting a gun to your head. You know, press You have to first of all have that longing within you. That 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 wanting desire within you, wanting to belong within you before mm -hmm. pre peer pressure can work. Nobody can come now and tell me you need to do this, you need to go and do this. Because I don't, I'm not even trying to, I don't even have the intention to impress. Right? Yeah. So you have to first of all have that desire yeah. in the first place. Every young person Maybe has you want to feel important. You don't feel important enough, enough within yourself you need something to make you feel important you need to uh, make you need to do this to make people see that you are succeeding yeah. you need to do, i mean why not rather invest your time in building yourself to actually truly succeed so much so that you don't even need to show anything right for anybody now, to know that you're actually young successful people feel like that process you know the process People get to preach to us about fathers and stuff. Our parents yeah. get to tell us about. Right now, young people feel like the process is too long. It, it actually has to be long because experience has to be gained. Right. Gone. But now nobody wants that. Everybody wants to be in the spotlight. Everybody wants to be, you know, the, uh, what do they call it in the movies? Antagonist or pro the protagonist, protagonist, you know, yeah, of their own movie. It's yeah. like, I'm the main character. Yeah. I want everybody to focus their attention on me. So it yeah. makes the peer pressure speak. You know, a lot of times you feel like peer pressure does not say anything. Mm -hmm. It's like the way I love movies and then I go on Twitter and then I get to see recommendations and hear people talk so much about a particular movie. Yeah. I have to watch that movie because I love movie on a normal day. Yes. And now you're telling me that there's a need to actually see this movie. Yeah. So peer pressure do not, it doesn't have to be someone putting a gun to your head or someone coming to your face to tell you something. It just has to do with a little picture of a friend in Maldives. Or in the Bahamas. Saying. You have, I don't see how my friend's picture in. That's for me anyways. That is you. That's for me that anyways. That is you. I don't see. I don't even, there are places I've been to. Maybe that you don't me, take pictures. I don't. I get it. Right, there are places. I've, if you even see this, so if you even see some of the places I take pictures, you, you'll be like, why this one is not for <laughs> 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 understand <laughs> I've been to places that. I didn't, I've gone on vacations that nobody if I knew took about. Any, yeah, right? if I took any pictures and I posted, people, ah, you, you've been that to those and so you. Place and all that. And so they, I think maybe because that pressure is becoming, I think, quite much yeah, in, in time, and it leads right to now. depression. It does, frankly speaking, Even because the whole mental you're pressurizing yourself, you're putting yourself out there to be something that you are not yet in real life. Instead of investing that time in it's sincerely, honestly yourself building yourself, person, right, yeah. and when it comes to a point that you can no longer maintain that lifestyle, it makes you depressed. It gets to you. Yeah, it does. Because now people are going to see that you are not like you that. You are not like that. And it's going to really, and I really think the destroy fear of your even career. Getting people is, you... to get to find out. I think the fear of like people could yeah. find out, it just puts you on your toes. It makes you do just I mean, anything. It is more expensive these days to be fake yes, it than is. it is to be real. It is very because expensive. Because if... For example, you say someone needs to go to go take pictures in a private jet. The person is paying a certain amount of money. Mm, that money okay. that you can actually use to do something else for yourself, right? It's expensive. But, somebody, but for somebody that is not actually living that fake life, yeah. they take pictures where 
when well, people have a very good jollof exactly. in a restaurant and cocktail you take pictures <laughs> right. where you can yeah you live your life normal that person is actually not spending as much the person no. is actually not living not trying to do as much mm -mm. in terms of finances to get mm -mm. what you're trying to do but you are on the same level financially with that person and you're putting yourself you know, through that stress and through that strain you're not you you have high rent to pay in abuja you're living in an area in abuja that stresses your it. finances right mm. when i was looking for a house in abuja my friend knew me because he was i was busy that time we we're going we we're doing a national tour so i was mm -hmm. handing the videography for the for the tour and I, I was out so i couldn't get it myself so i asked Nimi to help me out and he was like okay where do you want to stay he was mentioning life camp mentioning this place mentioning that place and i was like okay the money i had at that time could actually get a place for me in any of these areas but first i was projecting into the following year will i be able to renew that rent yes mm -hmm. even if i'm able to renew that rent i wasn't i wasn't forecasting that i will fail the following year no, sure. but i was projecting i've got responsibilities Just, yeah. that's one then i need to furnish the place then again if I take this amount of money to go rent this kind, because I needed a two bedroom flat. Oh, okay. Because I don't live alone. My younger ones, siblings stay Get with you. me and all of that. So I needed somewhere big Bigger. enough. The money I had, if I put all of that into renting that kind of space within town, I have problems. So I told him, can we get something like that in Lubia at a better price? And we got a very fine oh, you will. one, you will. nice one, yeah. at like half the price they were seeing within these yeah. high rise areas. Will I move from there very soon to a very high place? Yes, because sure. income increases. Yes. But at that time, I really didn't have the means to. But it's easier for me to. And I mean, if I wanted to be fake, I, I would look for one of those big places, be paying through my nose, yeah. no food in the house, no way to go out. I would be struggling, suffering, and then, but I got a good place, a good compound to take pictures and, you know, snap with my neighbor's cars. Because we are all living together, but in my house, it's one small stool that is in one corner that we all sit down. You don't even have a bed to sleep on. There's one stool in one corner in the parlor that we all sit down, turn by turn. So as much <laughs> as house. a lot of times people say fake it to you, make it. Nobody yeah. is saying that you should go against your will or go far beyond your yeah. um, extent. You know yeah. where you can reach far beyond your reach. Rather, people are saying just be within that reach, sir. Mm and be all right what i will add, actually even advise is see if you're a young person and you really want to succeed if you've written that phrase down anywhere clean it don't even try to don't be giving yourself explanations about it i don't it. agree when with you, that wait but let me let me let me say this see right. when you have to over explain an ideology to yourself and convince yourself about it it's time for you to change it I'm Think saying don't it. abuse What it. I'm saying is simple, don't right? Don't abuse that Sit phrase. yourself down. Cancel that phrase. Fake it till you make it. Change it probably to learn it till you, so make, you make it. it. Because learning allows you to make mistakes. Learning allows you to go through the process. You're not stressing yourself over, over things that you're not supposed to. You're not giving yourself an emotional, mental breakdown over it. You know that you're going through the process, right? Learning, in learning, to, in learning to be rich, you have you have the permission to to, to you fail know, to fail you have yeah. the, you but faking it if you fail you are gone it's colossal do you understand me because you're putting a, a picture out there you, that you're not, not real. really but if you are in the process of learning it's easier for you to go through it mentally so take that out of your vocabulary take that out of the quotes that you believe fake it till you make it make it something like learn it till you make it and tell yourself that you're going through the process you might not be just yet but you're going to talk the talks that you need to talk you're going to read the books that you need to read you're going to meet the people that you need yes, to meet yeah. you're going to uh build the network that you need to build and learn from the people you need to learn from to get to that point. But the point of faking it and stressing yourself, you are too young now. You're 20 something, but you are think your brain already has problem of 84 year old people because you're you're already living their life. You're living your fourth the life you're supposed to live at 40. At the age of 20, at the age of 25, the life is supposed to live at the age of 30. Because you, you see somebody else that, in quotes, is already living that, that life. life. You don't know what, what that person going is through. going through already. What doing. So allow your process, especially in a city like Abuja, that is a high-rise city, things are expensive, things are hard. Guy, chill. Girl, chill. You may not be able to afford that expensive shoe that you saw your friend wearing. I mean, get the one that you can afford. 
Don't stress so yourself. I don't borrow money to go no, do things. Uh, no, no. Don't insult yourself. I think in don't addition put yourself to in... what you said, if the the phrase "fake it till you make it" yeah. is a is a you thing, right? Yeah. I feel like you should not abuse it. Don't abuse the phrase. Just make it a moderate thing. You know, my mom used to always say, "Whatever you do too much." Whatever you abuse is not good. Yeah. Don't do it too much. If you, you believe that you're faking it is your branding, it should be within your means, within your reach. So you can do the whole faking it till you make it. <laughs> but please don't go against your wish or against your reach. It should just be within what you know you can afford. It should be within what you know you can easily swap. That's no longer even faking it. That's you living real. That's right? what I'm saying. That's right? what I'm saying. That's you living real. That's so no that should be what it, it is. That's what. It it, that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You should take. Out, just take the phrase out. You right. don't need it. You don't right. need it. How many of you rich people you know actually faked it till they made it? You, you, you sit down, go sit down, and ask him how many times he faked being a billionaire. Man, you see, if you're really busy, times. if you're really busy building your life. You don't need to fake nothing. You don't have the time. What are you faking? If you want to be a billionaire and you're busy building yourself through that journey, you don't have time to fake being a billionaire. We're too busy trying to learn. That phrase will not Make apply to you. That also. phrase actually, I think, applies to wannabes. Mm. That's what I think. I think it applies to wannabes, basically. It doesn't apply to people who are really dedicated to their to art their and work. dedicated to their craft. If you're dedicated, it's just like telling me now to start faking to be a, a film director or faking to be a video director or a media person. It's going to be crappy. Do you understand? But so, somebody who is not in that field or who is not in that journey can... Let me give you an example. When I started my journey as a, as, as a media person, as a, as a cinematographer, I started as a cinematographer first before mm -hmm. I started editing and then built into voiceover and the rest. But when I started, I wanted to buy hand gloves and buy jackets and buy all of those things because I thought were you wearing to, those things... Were you going to shoot under the rain? I thought wearing those things would... Because I saw some of these big shots, right, wearing it. And I thought, ah, if I wear this thing, it would make me look serious, You're, you, know, you know. And I got them at some point. But after wearing them once, twice, I stopped wearing them because I had to sit myself down and talk to myself. Hey, these are not the things that actually make you. Your, the art, your craft is actually what makes you. And guess what? As I grew in the art over time, I realized that those big shots I was seeing wearing them, were wearing them to look like it. Mm -mm. They were wearing them because they needed it, it at that needed, point. Yeah. There are certain kinds of stabilizers you use to video that you need gloves yeah. on. Because it might peel your hands, you know, you're not wearing it for guy. For fun. <laughs> there are certain um, stabilizers you use, four axis or three axis stabilizers you use that actually come with a vest mm. to help your so body it was balance. Necessary. And it wasn't it because is, of the aesthetics. Exactly, it's not for aesthetics. Yeah. So when I began to advance in the, in, in my profession, I began to realize that actually perhaps I just need I I, I realized that I needed to be more free. So I don't even dress Going on set, if you come on set most of the times, I'm wearing shorts and slippers because I need to be as free as possible to do my job. So if you come on set, you may even look at me and you not even know that I'm the director or whatever. You may not know I'm the one behind the, yeah, production, the production or behind the shoot. So in other you know, words, know your act. Exactly. Calm down. Give yourself rest. Allow your process. Especially if you're in Abuja, allow yeah. your process. Don't allow these people that touch their clothes to look like a tiger razor. No, your heart, just, please. <laughs> just tiger give razor. yourself rest. Right? <laughs> give yourself rest. Do you. Right. Just be as real as you can and build your art. And, and I trust think people me, respect time, you for being real. Of course. Of course. You don't have to be anything else. Okay. Right? With time. Yeah. A star will shine. Mm -hmm. That's that on this episode of Made in Abuja podcast. The only way you can support us on this podcast is to share with friends, share with people, and of course, follow us on our social media handles. Always tell us what you think. Of course, drop a comment. Contrary opinion. Yeah, let's know what you think. Join free. the conversation, all yeah. right? Join the conversation, let's know what you think. Do you think fake life exists in Abuja? And if it does, share your experiences. What the do you ones think you've fake seen. life is? Yeah. And of course, uh, subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell so that you get notified when we drop new episodes of the podcast. That's that on this episode. Until we catch you again, continue to live your best life 
and of course continue to be made <laughs> in the future. <laughs> That's a fact or phrase. Bye. It doesn't just work like that. Of course, of course, you don't want to, you don't want to. Just to maintain beauty, just be as real as you can and build your art. And trust me, with time. Of course. Oh, so you can't find it. Yeah, you're not paying 15,000 to rent a private jet. Well, you can. In Abuja, it's a very, very good place for you to come. Um,